Welcome to the life of a fourth year medical student on a vascular surgery sub internship. So usually I wake up around 4.30 in the morning and then I have about 20 to 30 minutes to get ready. I'm out the door at 5 a.m. My hospital is about 30 minutes away from where I live. So if I can get there anywhere between 5.15 and 5.30, I'm good because at 6 a.m. or a little bit later, we start to round with the team. So what do I have to do in the morning when I get there? The first thing I do is I chart check for vascular surgery at this hospital, it's a pretty busy service, so we have a list of around 50 to 60 patients. Thankfully, we don't have to see all of them. We are following all, all of them, but we can do that through the chart. And for me, as a sub-eye, there's only a handful of patients that I really have to follow along with, and an even smaller amount of patients that I personally have to go see in the morning. I make sure for my handful of patients that I do chart check for all of them, and then select a couple of patients that I go see and do a physical exam on and then present to the team. Once we are rounding in the morning, we walk around the service, check on our patients. When we come back, it's usually about time for breakfast. So I get dismissed while they talk to the attendings on the team. I go grab a snack or some breakfast and check the OR schedule for what cases there are for the day. And then I pick the ones that I want to go see. Today, the morning started with a carotid endarterectomy. This is one of my favorite vascular cases. The thing that I love about it is just all the anatomy that you get exposed to in this one case because the neck has so many different things obviously blood vessels nerves muscles it's just layer by layer that you're dissecting that there's something to point out and i think it's almost like kind of a fun interesting game to see if you can point out all the different structures and then after that i grabbed lunch i brought it from home I, usually if i have time in between cases what i like to do is kind of study and read my surgery book this month read surgical handbook is really useful i really like the way they lay everything out straightforward easy to follow and it's honestly kind of entertaining and so i enjoy this reading reading this book while i'm at the hospital so it kind of keeps me in this like medical mindset instead of just mindlessly scrolling through social media in between cases and sometimes i'll read something and it'll directly apply to the surgery that i'm in and i think that's really cool so the second case I went into was a bar. It was an endovascular aortic repair, and that was very interesting. Uh, there's a lot of wires and a lot of pieces, so it's a very interesting surgery to just like see come together piece by piece. And then after that, they let me out early so i got to go home and at like a very reasonable time i passed out as soon as i got there and then i woke up i had some dinner watched a little bit of moana i don't know why i was like reminiscing that movie and then i did some admin stuff good luck to all my general surgery friends getting um hopefully a bunch of interviews tomorrow on its official release date i will be reading for you guys and that is it thanks for watching